<laughs> it's over. Cause we are sick and tired of hearing your song. Telling us you're gonna change right from wrong. So if you really want to hear a view, you haven't done nothing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. This is the perfect song, ain't it? Think about it. Uh, uh, uh. Cause we are sick and tired of hearing your song. That's what seems like going on right now in the Democratic Party. According to an article in the New York Times, the president is trailing Donald Trump in five of six swing states. This is a sobering fact for Democrats. And this this uh, particular letter is from uh, Marion Williamson. She said, the racial deter of our campaign is that I offer compelling alternative to the Republican agenda, Trump or anyone else. Our agenda is something millions of people will actually want to vote for. It's agenda that actually betters their lives. Now, you know, whether all this is true or not, um, there's no way in the world can happen unless money gets out of politics. Because I personally have no, unless money is out of it, I really don't have any faith. Um, but if anybody I think I deserve to hear from and the American people need to hear from and keep their feet to the fire would be Marion Williamson. If it's any kind of woman, maybe we should deal with a totally different alternative. Um, because in Nevada, these swing states that they're talking about, one of them is my state. And there's somebody who was just recently, I think just suspended. And I'm going to give do a follow-up to that story because when they when they accused and charged me of voter fraud, they put me in jail. Okay, now this woman here, they asked me to do the election. I said no, I'm done with that because the last few times I worked the election, it was just drama, and I was doing it because it was something that it needed to be done, and I'd rather see somebody go and try to vote and better their community than the really uh, sit back and destroy it. So I participated in registering people to vote until Alberto Gonzalez, who was the attorney general when George Bush was president, um, baby Bush, and he did a sting and arrested a bunch of us in Wisconsin and put us in jail. However, I don't see this woman now going to jail and I'm gonna let me. I'm gonna wait. That's a that's a whole different topic. We'll get to that later. Uh, in Nevada, Trump fifty two percent, Biden forty one percent. Arizona, Trump forty nine percent, Biden forty four percent. Pennsylvania, Trump forty eight percent, Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump forty eight percent. Joe Biden, 44%. Georgia. 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 49% for Trump. 43% for Biden. Michigan. 48% for Trump. 43% for Biden. And the only one on here. Is for Biden is Wisconsin, forty seven percent, and it's real close. Trump forty five percent. What the hell y'all think needs to happen? I think Kamala, um, Kamala, and Joe Biden need to uh, pass the torch. Um, more and more traditional Democrats are coming out of their denial regarding whether or not Biden is the best candidate for Democrats. As they do 
we need to let them know that there is an alternative. Someone who has been in the race, who has climbed in the poles, and is making ways wherever I go. What is the blunt truth at this point? Biden won't win. And I will. Please give me the support. Of course, you know that was the last one. And be the wings beneath my wings. And I don't mind supporting. Um, giving five bucks, 25 bucks, whatever, to uh, the campaign. I just want to take corporate money out of politics and see if it'll work. And she's the only person that has um, made me enthusiastic enough to just give it a shot. Okay? So, and I suggest y'all go to um, check out her website. Just check it out. MarianWilliamson.com And, um, you, you, you know, you'll see what she stands for. You'll see what her agenda is and um is dedicated to the people 2024 just check it out if anything but joe biden let it go it's over kamala it's over it's over